Kids not enough seats. Kids complaining about sitting on the floor in some of their classes at Broken Arrow High School. Two News reporter Nathan Edwards took their concerns to the superintendent's office today and got some answers. This is the first year the sophomores are attending the high school. A recent change that is providing growing pains for the district. Each day during the first week of school, parents Amy Bell and Nikki Helsley hear their kids complain about overcrowded classrooms. He came home yesterday and told me that he was sitting on the floor in his AP history class because there weren't enough desks. Some classes worse than others. He said yesterday that one of his classes has 37 enrolled and 25 desks. This year, Broken Arrow School District added 1,300 sophomores to the high school, a move that has been planned for two years. But Superintendent Jared Mendenhall says the district had more students on the first day than originally anticipated. Uh, I think the growth overall probably had some contributing factor, but um, I would say more than that is just the transition and the change. Mendenhall says oftentimes at the beginning of the year, you see a little bit of overflow in classes, but he does admit that the district fell short in making sure every kid has a desk. We don't want students sitting on the floor or standing in any class period, so uh, if that were to happen, I'm, I'm very sorry for that and would not want that to occur for anyone's child. But for Amy and Nikki, their kids plan to fight for a seat for the rest of the week. He runs to class to make sure he gets a seat first come first serve. The superintendent tells me that he hopes to have all of the overcrowding issues fixed by the time the students come back from Labor Day weekend. Reporting in Broken Arrow, Nathan Edwards, 2 News works for you.